So I want to talk about PC gaming. And it's something that I've talked about quite a bit on my Twitch channel. It's something I have essentially, you know, made mention to until I was blue in the face on Twitter. And that is the fact that PC gaming can be a pain in the ass. Now, why am I making this video? It's because of an incident that happened with me and Shadowplay, a.k.a. Share, a.k.a. forward slash fucking uh, uh, GeForce Experience. I mean, <laughs> the, the, the confusion there. But... The issue happened when I tried to broadcast today. I wanted to go ahead and play some Serious Sam 3 before First Encounter on stream. Now, when I went ahead to, to try this, the game would either automatically kick me back to the desktop with the game still running, or the game itself would just reduce to a very, s like, not a small window, but more like a 720p sized window and I would have to manually change it back. Now, I also noticed whenever I would try to play Serious Sam 3 before First Encounter through Serious Sam Fusion while broadcasting, the broadcast would just abruptly end. Um, don't know why. Um, it did the same exact thing with Bioshock Infinite. And the interesting thing is, after I stopped... Um, trying to broadcast and I just completely closed out of you know GeForce experience and share the games booted up perfectly fine but when I tried to boot them up on stream they stopped working they didn't want to go the full screen they didn't even some of them even crash like Bioshock Infinite for instance just crashes it doesn't go anywhere but when I close out of it and I go ahead and play it off stream it works perfectly fine that's the tame part. This next part I'm going to mention to you. When I tried to play Serious Sam 3, um, I was testing Shadowplay. And as time has gone on, like when I first bought this PC and I used Shadowplay, it was actually a relatively smooth experience. It wasn't, uh, it didn't chug or anything like that. I legitimately enjoyed it. Like I thought it was the best thing ever. I thought it was better than OBS. You know, Come to think about it, hindsight being 2020, OBS was better. <laughs> and here's why. Um, with this new gaming rig, I noticed over time, the speed and the, rig the, the broadcast quality even has been significantly reduced. Um, I literally need to pray to whatever deity that exists in the sky and hope that the share option works fine when I try to open it up. Now, obviously, the hotkeys work. I can use the hotkeys. Um, when I use the hotkey for broadcasting, I still get issues with it. Sometimes I'll get the broadcast has failed to start or it's been canceled or some bullshit like that. And I will have to manually go in there and see what's going on. But, manually getting into share is a pain in the ass. Sometimes it opens, sometimes it doesn't. And during this particular situation where I had issues opening share, um, I also noticed that when I decided to use the broadcast feature of the share slash shadow play functionality, it caused artifacts to actually appear on my desktop. Now... I was legit shitting my pants when I saw this. I thought there was something wrong with my graphics card. And I was like, oh damn. Gotta end the stream. Gotta see what's going on, right? So I close out. I, I end the broadcast because I did actually manage to get it to broadcast this time. And I end the broadcast. Close out of um, GeForce Experience completely. And then all of a sudden the issue disappears. The issue totally disappears. Like, it never fucking happened. And I go ahead and I boot up some games, and they're all working just fine. No artifacts, no issues whatsoever. And then I'm like, what the hell just happened there? 
why did that happen? <laughs> why was I seeing artifacts when I went to broadcast? Now, I need to make it known that whenever I use the record or the instant replay features, I do not know this is problem. This issue seems to only be isolated to the broadcast functionality. Maybe later on, because I am using Shadowplay even more, I, I may start seeing it in the record functionality, which will actually hinder me in regards to getting videos up. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, it, it seems to only happen to broadcast. So I tried to look some stuff up. I saw some articles and some forum posts about it. Some of them being from a couple of years ago and nothing all that recent. Okay, the, there was absolutely nothing recent that talked about it. So I was stumped. Didn't know what the hell was the problem. Now, it could just be because I haven't updated my drivers yet. There is a new driver available from NVIDIA. But one thing I've actually been noticing is every time I update my drivers, it seems as though GeForce Experience just gets slower and slower and slower. And I have no fucking clue why. It makes no sense. And I've been seeing just all of this... The, so many issues with it. Like, the main reason why I, I essentially stopped using GeForce Experience a while back was because of the issues it had. Now, it seems as though those issues <laughs> were never ironed out. Because it seems like if you use GeForce Experience enough, it will start to fuck up. Now, I don't know if it's my hardware. I don't think it is. Maybe it's a driver. Maybe I just need to update it. I haven't updated it yet. But this is the issues with PC gaming. And I know... Every w if you're someone who's getting into PC gaming, I guarantee you, you've heard this from a lot of these tech guys, a lot of these guys that do PC gaming. It's like, this stuff can happen, it will happen, and you really need to know how to fix it. And it it's, it's a fact. These problems do arise in computers. They will happen. Uh, my computer was and is amazing it, with gaming, okay? when I edit on this thing. I, I It's actually doing really well with editing. Okay, granted it's at 1080p, but even then, it, it's doing, it, it's phenomenal with that. But when you get weird situations like shadow play, deciding to throw up artifacts when you try to broadcast to Twitch, it, it, it really just kind of racks your brain and makes you wonder what the problem is. Like, And then when you do eyeball your, your hardware and you do stress test it and you do play test it with games and put it through benchmarks and it comes up fine, you, you're, you're left totally and utterly stumped with absolutely no clue as to what to do <laughs> from there, okay? You really have to be your own engineer. You have to really learn your computer learn how it works go in depth make sure it's functioning right and one thing I need to mention and I'm not going to sugarcoat it with, with I'm not going to sugarcoat this at all is that this is uh, gaming PC is nothing like a console okay it's not plug and play you can't just uh, hook it up to your TV and your wall socket and then just turn it on and like it will always come on perfectly fine and there will be no glitches. I mean, granted, like, consoles do have their own glitches. Trust me, they do. But in regards to consoles, they're not, like, you're, you're not running into it all the time. But with a PC, you really have to learn how to work with it and actually figure out what ails it. And it's a real... It, it can be a process sometimes. It can. So... If you are getting into PC gaming, I heavily suggest you do your research, you find the proper parts, you do what you, you, you get what is necessary to get to make the type of PC that you want. And you also learn what you need to do in the event something like what happened to me happens to you. You, you, you just have to figure out what the problems are and what you need to do to fix them. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys later.